in this video I'm gonna share with you guys why everyone no exception should fall in love with themselves and I'm gonna use myself as a case study to show you guys that, are, that there are plenty of things to be proud of ourselves and not beat ourselves up cut ourselves some slack all right so my name is Eugenio and I help people unlock greater levels of inner harmony in their lives so first off I'm gonna begin sharing what's what I love the most about myself which was resilience and patience through dark moments right so I probably chose an existence with a high degree of challenge and I managed to uh, overcome those challenges in a really graceful way so I could have been dead at this point but I chose to uh, believe in myself even if just a little bit in the, in the beginning enough to put through and go beyond these times trials and tribulations that often catch ourselves off guard right so I love a lot about myself this aspect you know it, it, I'm not just boasting and bragging about these things I'm just inspiring you guys to see if you have something in common with me because all of you certainly do at least one thing I share here you may uh, relate to all right so the other thing that I'm proud of myself and I love myself because of that are my preferences right we all have preferences and they tell a lot about ourselves right so I'm proud about uh, the music I listen to I'm proud about uh, the fact that I love nature I love being around nature cycling you know you know there are many preferences that I have you know it, it displays a uniqueness right our preferences our set of preferences is, is entirely unique no one will ever walk on this earth with the same set of preferences that you have the things that you like and you appreciate tell more about yourself than anything right so if you like a public speaker uh, a content creator on social media and you admire him that's because you have within yourself the seeds that can blossom right you have within yourself that quality that you love so much about other people right so uh, I encourage you to take some time and just reflect on everything that you like and how beautiful it is how unique it is your set of preferences right so another thing that I like here is that this planet is full of limitation and negativity and people playing the victim right disempowered beliefs but you came here at least I came here I managed to thrive in this really dark uh, planet right guys so if you're you feel kind of like me on this road to thriving in uh, uh, greater and greater degrees here on earth you are a master you are a person who is mastering physical reality and I don't take it lightly right guys mastering the physical reality is one of the toughest and most challenging thing in the entire universe because I've been told that the earth is an exception to the rule right Mo most planets do not have this degree of limitation that the, the earth has so that's why you should love yourself for having the courage being bold enough to incarnate here and be willing to face uh, like gigantic challenges really crucial times in your life you know and you you came here and you knew that you would be guided to thrive and only advance them mature souls have this courage that you had to come into this challenging planet all right so just by being a part of the universe a reflection an aspect of the universe you should be proud of yourself because you're part of this mystery this gigantic uh, interesting 
uh, it's, it's the most divine thing, the universe. You are here and you are a part of the universe. You have a specific role to play that no one has this degree of ability to perform your role. Your role is extremely unique and no one is entitled and cut out for that job, only you. So you should like yourself and appreciate yourself for that right you are part of the mystery right you're not better than anyone else but you are as special as everyone else but that doesn't mean you shouldn't look up on yourself right <laughs> i also love myself because i'm willing to grow every single day i'm concerned with my evolution so that makes me uh, lovable because you know i bet that yourself you as well have this uh, like a urge, like a craving almost to become a better person and we are a work in progress, right? And everyone should uh, have the desire to grow and even if you don't, okay, at one point you will have this kind of urge to go beyond our limits, to find ways to be more of service, right? Because you know, it's so good to have this willingness to grow. It, it, it demonstrates that you are worthy of love. Even if you don't have this, you're worthy of love just as, just as well. Because at one point, you will be bound to love growth, right? If you're not already, okay, that moment will come. So love yourself anyways. <laughs> So another reason that I love myself is because I'm willing to serve, right? Not only to grow, but also give a helping hand. And it is even better when you serve in something that your heart sings and your soul likes. So it's not any kind of service, right? It's a service that is tapped into the reason you came here on earth to explore. And it's going to always be fulfilling when you... Find out a service that really resonates with you, that you feel called to perform. So I, I, I really love myself for having this calling to share my ideas on camera and inspiring others. I'm super excited about this. And you as well, you can find out, uh, love yourself for serving in a way that impacts people positively or if you if you haven't yet found out what your optimal service is the service that speaks to your soul you just continue on your journey don't give up right eventually you're gonna find the right kind of service that suits you and you're gonna be a blessing for the world because when a person is uh, placed in the right spot for them when they are fulfilling the, the role they came here to play, uh, then this person has a tremendous light. It emanates, it's brilliant, right? So what do we have here on earth? Most people are working on things that do not light them up, do not nurture them at a deep level. So no wonder we are facing so much struggle on earth because people are, do, are not placed where they should be right but we who are open up opening up for spirituality and our purpose our calling we are setting a new trend the trend of people who listen to their inner voice and start acting on intuition rather than what gives you quick money and respect and applause and validation right but this is another topic i just uh, talked a little bit about but I can explore that in future videos and with that I conclude this video guys I hope this video was inspirational for you to find reasons that prove that you are lovable you are worthy whole and complete no matter what you're doing you know even if there's no reason no intellectual logical reason for you to be loved you are loved just by being yourself and that's it. 
no matter what stage in your journey you, you are, you can be loved, you can feel good about yourself, you know, you shouldn't be caught up in perfection or any of these things. Just love for who you are, your shadows, your bright sides, everything about yourself is beautiful, right? So there's no specific set of reasons for you to love yourself. Love yourself for who you are right now and at this moment. Okay, so if you like this video, share with someone who may resonate with this kind of topics. And if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell icon because I'm committed to shooting videos every single day. And you don't want to miss any of them, alright? <laughs> So hit the like button so that the algorithm shows these videos for more people and more people can be positively impacted. Alright, and I also offer one-on-one -on -one sessions. The links are below if you want to dive deeper and find more alignment in your life, more peace and calm and less stress, less anxiety. Alright, like I said, the links are below if you're interested. And that's it guys. Be bold! Be happy, be free.